Hey guys, let's learn about the quadratic sequence. Okay, very simple um, if, if you get it, but it might seem a little bit intimidating when you see the process of finding the general term for the quadratic sequence. But let's try. Okay, first of all, the quadratic sequence, uh, the most basic example of the quadratic sequence is probably taking the squares of numbers. So for example, uh, it's a mistake. One squared is one, two squared is four, three squared is nine, four squared is sixteen, five squared is twenty-five, then thirty-six, then forty-nine. I think you get the picture. Okay, let's go and look at the constant difference between these terms. In other words, taking the constant difference, four minus three, one is three. Nine minus four is five. 16 minus 9 is 7. Hmm. Definitely no constant difference. So, what then? Well, I think maybe you recognize that the difference, the first difference, makes a pattern itself. And if I take the, the its difference again, I get 5 minus 3, 2, 7 minus 5, 2, 9 minus 7, 2, 11 minus 9, 2. We see, we get what is called the, this is the first difference. First difference. And this is the second difference. And we see that for the quadratic equation, the second difference is constant, not the first difference, it makes a pattern itself. This second, an arithmetic series, uh, or sequence actually, if you look at it. Okay, and that is the most basic example of the uh, quadratic sequence. So what would its general term look like? Well, its general term is going to be a quadratic um, equation. where n now represent the term's position. In this specific one, we can see, for example, that uh, in this case, every time, well, what am I doing? I am squaring my term position. So the first term is 1 times 1. The second term is 2 times 2. So I'm actually just taking my n and squaring it, which means that a is equal to 1, b is equal to uh, 0 and c is equal to 0 in, in this thing, in that expression. So what is a, b, and c? a can't be the first time, uh, the first term, well it might, uh, it might be the first term, but in, in fact this time it's not true. a is not the first term, b is not the second difference, and c is the third, uh, after the, the first difference and second difference. This time it's a little bit different and here it goes okay a is in fact the first term i will give when i make my n equal to one then i get my first term so if all of this is one then i get a plus b plus c will equal my first term a plus b plus c will equal my first term so we can use all of this. Then, and I'll show you in class, 3a plus b will equal my first difference. And 2a will equal my constant second difference. Now, if you look at this, you'll see. Okay, I'll first use this equation to find a. Since I'll have a, I'll use this equation to find b. When I'll have a and b, I'll use my top equation to find c. But, once again, let's rather look at an uh, example to explain all of this. Now, for these types of sequences, we need at least four terms. And, well, let me show you why. Because if I take my first difference, 5 minus 4 is 1, 8 plus 5 is uh, uh, 3, 13 minus 8 is 5, okay, then if I only had um, my last 
if I didn't have this last section here, I would have only had two terms and then if I calculated my next difference, I'll get two, but I wouldn't know if it is constant. So I need another term. I need four terms so that I can figure out if my second term is constant. And my second term, three minus two, one is two, five minus three is two. And here we go, here we see that we get our a plus b plus c is equal to four. 3a plus b is equal to 1 and 2a is equal to 2. And those are the three equations we're going to use. So let me use them. Okay, if 2a is equal to 2, let me write it out again. 2a is equal to 2, then a must be equal to 1. Okay, if 3a plus b is equal to 1, and a is equal to 1, and then 3 times 1 plus b is equal to 1, and we get b is therefore equal to negative 2. The 3 gets subtracted on both sides. And then finally, a plus b plus c is equal to 4. So, we have a plus b plus c is equal to 4. And know that A is 1, B is negative 2, and C is the one we're calculating. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Let's add it to the other side, so C is equal to 5. Okay. And here if we put these things then together in our equation, we get that Tn is equal to 1 uh, a, let me just write out the whole thing, a n squared plus b n plus c, where a is equal to 1, so n squared, b is negative 2, so it's negative 2n, and c is equal to plus positive 5. And there we go. That is the general term for our sequence. So they probably would have asked us go and find t20. Okay. And then we said that's fine. We just substituted 20 in my n. And I calculated 400. 20 squared is 400 minus 20 times 2 is uh, 40. So, 360 plus 5, 365. That is coincidental number of days in last year, not this year. Cool. Guys, what do you think? Not too difficult. How about you go try a few? Good luck.